Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube station and we're going to bring you a continuation, the second half of the 1984 Boston College Eagles taking on the 1977 Texas Longhorns in Texas battle of the Heisman Trophy winners Doug Flutie for the BC Eagles, Earl Campbell for the Texas Longhorns. And at the half, the Longhorns have a commanding 27 to 10 lead. Turnovers and penalties have cost BC. Let's go to some halftime stats here. Doug Flutie is 14 to 25, 183 yards and one touchdown, one interception. McUrchin, the quarterback for Texas, is 3 for 8 for 89 yards. Rushing for the Boston College Eagles, Stratford 4 for 10 yards, Flutie 4 for 4 yards, Bell 3 for 6, and Stratchin, the fullback, 1 for 0 yards. For Texas, Earl Campbell has rushed the ball 16 times for 132 yards, two touchdowns as long as 42 yards. McIkern, the quarterback for Texas, 10 carries, 34 yards, he has a touchdown. Pam Jones, one, uh, 3 for minus 1. Wait, 2 for 11. Johnny Lamb Jones, 1 for minus 2. And Harris picked up a fumble and ran for 19 yards. Receiving, Gerard Phelan, 6 for 79 with a TD. His long was a 28-yard reception. Stratford out of the backfield, 3 for 18. Gieselman, the tight end, 2 for 51. Martin, 1 for 15. Darren Flutie, 1 for 11. And Dombrowski, 1 for 9. Scoring in the first half. Five-yard touchdown run by the Texas quarterback, McUrchin. Erksman Ben kick was good. 7-0 Texas, then BC got on the board with a 27-yard field goal in the first quarter at the 7:24 mark by Snow. Texas would then go on to score a field goal, a touchdown, and a touchdown in the second quarter. And that would be an Exervian 34-yard field goal, a Campbell 18-yard, an 8-yard run, and a Campbell 42-yard run. And that was 24 to 3. Then BC with a minute 33 left in the half. A 20 yard touchdown pass from Flutie to Phelan. Extra point by Snow was 24 to 10. But a last second field goal before the end of the half by the Longhorns. Eric Zablin kicked a 28 yard field goal. And that's how we stand going into the third quarter 27 to 10. And we're using 2nd and 10 as our simulation. I've just picked up this game. It's a very fun game. This college game is a request from Andre Ford, so we're going to continue it off. He was enjoying it yesterday. Hope everyone's having a good Friday, and hope your work week is over and you can enjoy your weekend. Let's play a little college football simulation. Once again, the 84 Boston College Eagles led by Doug Flutie, the Heisman winner, against the 77 Texas Longhorns led by... Earl Campbell, the Heisman winner. BC went in 1984. BC was 10 and 2. They would win in the Cotton Bowl over Houston. And in 1977, the Texas Longhorns were 11 and 1. They lost to Notre Dame in the Cotton Bowl. All right, BC is going to kick it off here in the third quarter. Deep for the Longhorns, Johnny Liam Jones and Alfred Jackson. Here's the kickoff by Kevin Snow. We are on our way for the second half. Jones looking for some runner room. He's nailed at the 21 after just a 15-yard gain. Excellent special teams there by the BC Eagles. And I am playing as the BC Eagles. The computer is controlling all aspects of the Longhorns offense and defense. So first and 10 for the Longhorns on their 21. Their backfield is Earl Campbell, 
Pam Jones, quarterback Randy Mc McUrchin, wideouts Johnny William Jones now for Jenkins, a tight end Gil Harris. We're going to play run defense and we're going to key Earl Campbell. The ball goes to Campbell. Good effort by Campbell. He picks up six yards, dragging BC defenders along with him. And he'll be second and four from the Texas 27. We're going to play run. We're not going to key anybody. Boston College. Ham Jones gets the ball. He hits that. He's hit at the line, but he keeps his balance and gains five yards. So he bounces off the first looking tackler and picks up five and a first down. Texas trying to wear down and continue to wear down this Boston College defense with their bludgeoning run game with Earl Campbell and their other backs. First and ten on the Texas 32. They play run defense. Key Campbell. Eight men up in the box for BC. They give to Campbell. Charles Gorecki rides Campbell out of bounds for a four-yard loss. Nice play by the Boston College defense. Brings up second and 14 on their 28 of Texas. Standard man. Shadow the quarterback. Kermit Good has the ball. Goes off tackle. Gets six yards. Now bring up third and eight. I believe that was a good first carry. So now Texas, three wide outs, one tight end, and the running back is Ham Jones. Randy McCurchin, the quarterback under center. So it's third and eight. We're gonna play a standard zone extra defensive back. Standard zone for BC, medium pass to Lockett, perfect coverage by Romanowski, incomplete, the Boston College defense holds. That's what they needed, so they will force a punt with 12.44 to go here in the third quarter. In the chat, we have Clark Arats. I always mess up his name, I apologize. I'm going to call you Clark. He says, good evening, I hope all is well, Clark. So fourth and eight. Bertzel been the punter slash kicker comes out onto the field for Texas. Back deep is Gerard Phelan. We're putting the return on. Here's the snap. And that's a tremendous boot. And BC lets it roll for a touchback. So it rolls into the end zone. A punt of 66 yards. And Boston College and Doug Foody will start. First and 10 on the 20. They trail by 17. Backfield at Ken Bell. And two tight ends, Gieselman and Casparello. Single back, Ken Bell. Wide outs, uh, Kelvin Martin and Darren Flutie. And we're going to give the ball outside to Kenny Bell. Two tight ends set for the BC Eagles. They're keying Bell. He gets the call. And it's a loss of a yard. Nice play by Dwight Jefferson of the Texas Longhorns. Brings up second and 11. Screen to Kenny Bell. Texas blanket, the field with defensive backs, screen to Bell, Lance Taylor had that play sniffed out, he breaks it up, here comes a difficult third and 11, Gerard Failing comes back out onto the field, so it's Failing and Martin, two tight ends, Gieselman and Casparello, the running back Tony Stratford. Medium long to Phelan. Extra defensive backs. They're doubling Phelan and Martin. 
Flutie has the ball going downfield to Phelan. Bruce Schultz gets a hand on it and breaks it up. So the BC Eagles will go three and out. As I'm getting used to this gameplay, it's a fun play, but I forget. The number here is you have to start resting your players. And I have to start rotating them better. Because as you see, my two starting wideouts, and I believe this is the correct way of interpreting, they're going to, I need to rest them at least three more times for them to be like tip top. Uh, three more times for Phelan, five more for Kelvin Martin. Clark in the chat says, really becoming a fan of second and ten, especially with all the seasons you get in one shot. Excellent point, Clark. I love action PC football. Great game. Moderately priced. A little pricey, but you wait for Dave Koch to have sales and you get a lot of good stuff. But, this, for just under $50, you get all the pro seasons and a decent amount of college seasons. And Clark says, yes, it's Clark. After Barbie, Bobby Clark. Oh, from the Philadelphia Flyers. So, uh, I do like this game. I also like my action. I'm going to come, I'm going to be playing an action PC football game later. I think I'm going to play, I'm going to attempt once again to beat the 72 Dolphins. But this time I'm going to play as the 1976 New England Patriots, one of my favorite all-time teams. So, all right. So, we're going to have to punt here. Three and out. Go with the BC Eagles. Steve Peach to punt. And he's going to punt. Deep is Glenn Blackwood. One of the Blackwood brothers. It's a nice punt. Safely caught by Blackwood at the Texas 33. Excellent return of 15 yards. Good field position for Texas. They'll start on their own 48, first and 10. So can the Boston College defense hold? Once again, we shall see. Split backfield for Texas of Ham Jones and Jimmy Johnson. Quarterback Randy McUrchin under center. Johnny Lamb Jones and Alfred Jackson, the wideouts. Gil Harris, the tight end. And they really still have one really big play left in Alfred Jackson. He has one more reception, and he's an A. And primary receiver rating. How effectively a receiver plays when keyed or primary uh passes key to double coverage all right so we're going to go run defense and we're going to just hit okay eagles expecting the run jimmy johnson gets the ball and it's a four yard loss nice once again charles garecki with the big play for the bc eagles and that brings up second and 14 earl campbell back in the game Campbell has been a bruising running back, a wrecking ball of a human being at running back. So it's Campbell, Ham Jones, McCurchin under center, Liam Jones and Alfred Jackson, the wideouts, and Gil Harris, the tight end, second and 14 from the Texas 44. We're going to play all purpose. All purpose, okay. Eagles in all purpose defense. Campbell takes the handoff, pick up a two yards. He's still fighting for those extra yards. He breaks loose, oh boy. And finally brought down at the Boston College 47. That was a nine yard run and it leaves a third and five. They had Campbell stuffed for two yards. He kept chugging those legs, he broke free from Romanowski and friends and picks up another seven yards so a nine yard carry for Earl Campbell he now has Campbell now has 19 carries 143 yards brings up a crucial third and five for the Boston College Eagles defense Texas on the BC 47 they lead 27 to 10 with 10 15 to play in the third quarter split backfield for Texas Campbell and Thompson wide outs Johnny Liam Jones and Alfred Jackson tight end Steve Hall 
Bump and run coverage. Shadow the quarterback. Okay. Medium pass to Thompson. Makes the grab at the 38. Hauled down by Romanowski, but it's a gain of nine. First, First down. down. Nice play by Thompson and McGurchin. So first and 10 on the BC 38. Two running backs, split backfield, two wideouts, one tight end. The backs are Campbell, Earl Campbell, and Steve Campbell. Johnny Lamb Jones and Ronnie Minch, the wideouts, and Gil Harris, the tight end. Run blitz by BC. Linebackers gonna shoot the run gaps. Campbell gets the ball, not much room up the middle. He breaks free though, over the 30. Avoids the tackle at the 20. He could be off to the races. Tony Thurman dives for him, but can't make the play. Touchdown, Earl Campbell. His second long touchdown run. 38 yards. And the Longhorns take a commanding lead now as Campbell has 20 attempts, 181 yards, and two touchdowns. It's now 33 to 10. Russell Explin, Erksplin, excuse me, comes out on the field to kick the extra point as there were BC defenders spewed all over the field trying to tackle Earl Campbell. Initially they had him stopped, they thought, and he continues to churn and broke away for a huge touchdown run. Here's the snap and the extra point. It's up and good. So that wrecking flag ball called, oh, flag on the play. Running into the kicker. Defense. So the frustration by the BC Eagles is shown as they run into the kicker. And I believe that will be assessed on the kickoff. And it will. So it's 34 to 10. As Earl Campbell, as I was stating, the human wrecking ball to the BC defense. Deep for Boston College, Steve Williams and Carl Crespain. Here's the kickoff. And it's a touchback. That was a booming kickoff. As Clark says, whoa, that's crazy. I know, twice they had him stop. Twice Campbell broke tackles and went for big runs. A 9-yarder and a 38-yarder. Before that, he had a 42-yard touchdown return. Run, excuse me. That's the way Earl Campbell ran. He was a beast in college. And when he first came up with uh, the Houston Oilers. So we have, we're going to have to, we have Phelan and Martin, the wideouts. Stratford will be the back. Actually, we're going to go with Kenny Bell. Take Stratford out. Two tight ends. Actually, you know what? We'll go Gieselman and we'll go with three wideouts. Darren Flutie, Phelan, and Martin. And we're going to go short to Calvin Martin. Safety's looking to blitz for Texas. Flutie tosses it to Kelvin Martin. The play is broken up by Lance Taylor. And it'll be second and ten. As it's very easy to play defense for Texas. They know BC has to pass. BC down by 24 points. So Stratford's all right. And Dombrowski will come in. Phelan will come out. Martin will come out. Casparello will come back in. So two wideouts, two tight ends. Stratford in the backfield. Outside run to Stratford. Try to pick up some yards here. Longhorns, they're keying Stratford on the run. Stratford looks to the outside. He's dragged to the turf. Gain of a couple. Good pursuit by Brad Shearer. Brings up third and a long eight for Doug Flutie and the Boston College Eagles. Darren Flutie and Dabrowski come out of the game. Phelan and Martin come back in. Medium pass to Gerard Phelan. Timeout, defense. Texas doesn't like what they see. They call a timeout. So once again, they'll start all over for a uh, third and eight for Boston College on their own 22.
medium pass to Tony Stratford. They're going to try to hit Stratford on the circle play out of the backfield. Failing is, and Martin being double covered. Flutie connects with Stratford at the 35. And that's an 18-yard game. Oh, come on. Flag on the play. Personal foul. Oh, come on. So the first down is nullified by the clipping. 18 yards for nothing. And now bring up a third and 18. As if you watched the first half yesterday, I got hosed many a time with a call like that. So once again, we're going to go for broke. Calvin Martin, deep. Standard man-to-man -man coverage. Nickel defense by Texas. They're sending Lucas on the blitz. The blitz gets the flutie. He picks out the near receiver. He goes deep looking for Phelan. Broken up by Glenn Blackwood. Fourth and 18. So Flutie couldn't go to Martin. And he avoided the pass rush. Went deep to Phelan. But Johnny on the spot was Glenn Blackwood. Glenn Blackwood would do that many a time for the Miami Dolphins later on in a professional career. Fourth down. BC to punt. Here comes Steve Peach. He'll be punting to Johnny Johnson. BC needs a big play here. A big hit. A turnover. Nice punt by Peach. Taken by Johnson at the 39. He searches for a crease. There it is. Over his own 40. Over midfield. And he gets to the Boston College 43. That was a gain of 18 on the 49-yard punt. Once again, Texas is set up quite well in BC territory. Clark says, how do you get the screen to pop up over the scoreboard after the kick is good? Um, in options, I think if you go to options, Clark, in-game options, I kicked, uh, you see where it says game simulcast options, display scoreboard updates, display red zone entry, display highlights. I think it's the display highlights. And also, if you're talking about the official, the referee, um, over to the left under display options, if you go scroll, if you walk, can you, if you see my um, mouse, it says referee signals. I clicked on that. So I'm going to point. I can see, you can see my, right here, referee signals. I believe that's what you're talking about. All right, let's get back to this game as my BC Eagles are getting massacred. All right, first and ten for Texas. Backfield to Campbell and Ham Jones. Wide out to Johnny Lamb Jones and Alfred Jackson. The tight end, Gil Harris. We're going to play run defense. We're going to key Earl Campbell. Not that that's worked. Boston College expecting the run. They give the ball to Campbell. And he gets seven yards anyway. Brings up second and three as he just drags Boston College defenders along with him. Second and three. What does Earl Campbell have now? Campbell, 21 carries, 188 yards, three touchdowns. I guess he's going to be player of the game. Okay, so it's second and three. We're going to play all-purpose tight. And we're going to key McGurchin. Let's see if they go with that option run here. Tight coverage by BC. They give the ball to Earl Campbell again. Beautiful play action. McGurchin's flush in the pocket. He steps into the pocket. Shifts receivers finally. Tucks the ball. Heads up field. Plenty of running room. The ball is loose. Dave Pereira the big hit. Todd Russell dives on the loose ball. The 20 Boston College comes up with it. A big play by the BC defense. And that's what they needed. Wow. I had a feeling he was going to do something. He's burned me quite a bit. So we play all purpose and we keep the quarterback. I finally get a right defensive play call. Besides keying Campbell, that's like a no-brainer. It doesn't matter. You can key him all day long. He's going to run all over you. So a huge play by the BC defense. Fumble 
forced by Pereira, recovered by Russell. Phelan and Martin, the wideouts. Stratford, the lower back. And Gieselman will be the tight end. Darren Flutie will be the third wideout. And we're going to go... Medium to Stratford out of the backfield. It worked once, but we had that clipping penalty. Everybody, it's an all-out blitz. Flutie drops straight back. Throws to Stratford. Complete to Stratford at the 35. Quickly knocked out of bounds by Churchman for 15 yards. Stratford is slow getting up. And first he's down. helped off the field by the trainer. Looks like he'll need a few plays to rest, but a first down pass by Doug Flutie. First and 10 on the BC 35. So Steve uh, Strachan will now come in. He'll be the single back. Three wide outs, one tight end. They're going to go short. Flare pass to Steve Strachan. Longhorns in a neutral defense. Pass deflected away by Mark, Mark Nori of the Longhorn. Second and ten. Inside run by the fullback, Strachan. Man coverage, nickel defense. It's a run. Strachan gains eight yards. As he does his best Earl Campbell impersonation, dragging Texas defenders. It'll be third and two from the BC 43. This is definitely two down territory. Kenny Bell will come in the game now. So three wide outs. Uh, they're in the red now. I got to take these guys out. So Dombrowski and Darren Flutie. Gieselman and Casparello. So two tight ends, two wide receivers. And Kenny Bell in the backfield. Inside run to Kenny Bell. Third and two. Here's the run by Bell. Gain of about two yards. They're going to measure. Churchill on the tackle. And he's inches short. So it's fourth and one. And it's time to gamble. Of course it is. Fourth and one from the BC 44. It'll be Strachan and Bell. Two tight ends. One wide out, Darren Flutie. Two backs. Going to give the ball to the fullback, Steve Strachan. They need to pick this up. Fourth and inches. They're keying Bell on the run. It goes with Strachan on the counter. He gains two yards. First and ten. Big run by Strachan. 5.49 to play in the third quarter. BC down 24 points. Jared Phelan is now available. Casparello will come out, so it'll be Phelan and Flutie at wideouts. That's Darren Flutie. The running backs are Strachan and Kenny Bell. Tight end Gieselman. And they're going to go Strachan on the outside run. Man-to-man -man coverage by Texas. They're keying Bell on the pass. Ball carries Stratch and Stratch and lucky to avoid the big loss. Hits out of bounds at the line of scrimmage. So he tried to bounce to the outside. He's pushed out, his, out of bounds. So it'll be second and ten. Calvin Martin will be available in one more play as he went into the red. I have to watch these things. Again, new to the game. Action PC football has the same thing, except it shows it differently. So we're going to go screen to Kenny Bell. Standard man-to-man -man coverage by Texas. Lance Taylor coming on the blitz. Flutie is going to pass. He's under heavy pressure. It's a screen to Bell. Bell is nailed after catching the pass. Can't hold on. Incomplete. Big, big, big hit. The boom was put on Kenny Bell. Calvin Martin's now available. Martin will come in the game. Flutie's out. Darren Flutie. So it's going to be two wideouts. Actually, you know what? We're going to 
go three wide outs, one tight end. Third and ten, again, two down territory here. If we pick up enough yards on third and don't get it. Calvin Martin. Medium long to Martin. Right, they go. Texas goes with an extra defensive back. They're doubling Failing and Flutie. Failing corner route. Failing's locked up with Bill Hamilton. No chance for the catch. So Flutie quickly looked off Martin. And went to Gerard Phelan. Incomplete. Fourth and ten in the BC 46. Down by 24. Gotta go for it. Need a big play here. Empty backfield. Two tight ends. Three wide outs. Looking for Gerard Phelan. Fourth and ten. Extra defensive back for Texas. Two deep zone. Flag on the immediate pass. Phelan can't be pass interference. Pass Holding. interference. Holding. Defense. Defense. Yes! Yes! Holding penalty. Against the defense. Ten yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. Oh yeah, we're going to accept that. First down. First down, so we got a huge holding penalty on Texas as Phelan would have made the play. Again, empty backfield, three wide outs, two tight ends. Actually, you know what? We're going to take Casparello out. Actually, Flutie out, Darren Flutie. Two tight ends, two wide outs. Stratford's now available. Outside run to Stratford. First and ten on the Texas 44. They're keying Stratford. Stratford has the ball and heads to the outside. He picks up five yards. Second and five. Again, we're going to go outside with Stratford. Longhorns playing a standard zone defense. There comes Stratford. Gain of four on the outside run. Third and one. Calvin Martin will come out of the game. Steve Stratchy will come in at fullback. I formation. Inside run. Stratchy. Two down territory here. Here comes the blitz. They're keying Stratford. Counter with Stratchy. And he plows up the first middle down. for five yards and a first down. First and ten from the Texas 30. Calvin Martin back in the game. Casparello goes out. Two wide outs. Tight end. Two backs behind Flutie. Stratchin and Stafford. High formation. Play action fake. We're going to look for Martin deep. Going deep on the play action fake. Calvin Martin. They're keying Stratchin on the run. Play action. Martin tries to outrun the defender deep. Touchdown! Flutie hits him with the bomb in the end zone as Martin is nailed, but he holds on to the ball. 30-yard touchdown pass by Doug Flutie, set up by the play-action fake. And BC's back on the board. It's 34-16. What a play, Flutie to Martin. There's still some left, life left in these BC Eagles. Here comes the extra point. Snow with the kick. It's good. 34 to 17. BC pulls to within 17. So Doug Flutie now, the other Heisman Trophy winner, 16 to 34, 228 yards, two touchdowns, one to Phelan, one to Martin. He's also thrown a pick. Campbell, 77 Heisman Trophy winner, 21 carries, 188 in yards, three touchdowns. The long of 42, then he has another 38-yard touchdown run. BC will kick deep as Graylin Wyatt and Alfred Jackson deep for the Longhorns. Snow with the kickoff. 
but BC capitalizes on the fumble by the 19-yard return by Alfred Jackson. And Texas will start first and 10 at their own 26. Let me complete that thought. BC capitalizes on the fumble by the quarterback, Randy McUrchin. They put up seven, twice going for it on fourth down on that drive. They had to. 34-17. Split backfield of Campbell, Earl Campbell, and Steve Campbell. Quarterback Randy McCurchin. Wide outs, Johnny Liam Jones and Alfred Jackson. And Jackson's the one who you really have to watch out for. He still has one more uh, catch available to him before he goes in the negative. And he's an A even if you double cover him. Gil Harris, the tight end. We're going to play run defense, and we're going to key Earl Campbell. Let's see if Campbell... We'll put one on the floor. Let's play action. McGurchin throws a Liam Jones post pattern. Broken up by Tony Thurman. What a play by Thurman. If Johnny Liam Jones catches that, he's going for pay dirt. But Thurman breaks it up. Second and ten. Three wide outs now in a tight end. Running back is Ham Jones. The wide outs are Johnny Liam Jones, Alfred Jackson, and Mike Lockett. Tight end Gil Harris. Play a standard man, extra defensive back, shadow the quarterback. McMurchant taking his usual drop. He hurls a long bomb towards Johnny Lamb Jones, and it's just out of Lamb Jones' reach. He had his defender beat, but the ball just out of his reach. Brings up third and ten. BC needs another crucial stop here. Third and ten. Split backfield. Two running backs. Earl Campbell and Ham Jones. The wideouts are Johnny Liam Jones, Alfred Jackson. The tight end is Steve Hall. Standard man. Shadow the quarterback. Third and ten. Medium pass to Earl Campbell. Grabbed by Campbell at the 36. Gain of eight, and he loses two. Oh, flag on the play. Please, not on me. Personal foul. Oh, come on. Offense. Defense. Oh, come on. We had them stopped. Unsportsmanlike conduct on the defense. Unbelievable. We had them stopped. First down. Pick up the first down on the, unpersonal, on the unsportsmanlike conduct, 15 yards. So instead of punting, the Texas drive is continue due to the flag on the play. It's first and ten on the Texas 49. Run defense. Key Earl Campbell. Eight men up in the box for BC. McGurchin gives it to Ham Jones. Heads outside but it's tripped up by Scott Harrington. And that's a four yard loss. Excellent penetration by Harrington. So it's going to be second and 14, 235 to play in the third quarter. Texas 34, Boston College 17. Texas goes with three wideouts and a tight end. The running back is Graylin Wyatt. We're going to go bump and run. Extra defensive back. Shadow the quarterback. It's an option pitch to Wyatt. And he's held to three yards on the outside run. Excellent, excellent job by the BC defense stringing that play out. And it brings up third and 11. And in the backfield now is Thompson. He's behind Randy McHurchin, the quarterback, who's under center. The wideouts are Johnny Liam Jones, Alfred Jackson, and Mike Lockett. We're going to double Jackson. We're going to go X. We're going to go standard man cover. Actually, we're going to go third and 11. Zone. Extra defensive back. Okay. 
EC. There's pressure on the Gertz, and he's forced to go to a new receiver. Looks for Harris. Medium short pass. Poorly thrown. Incomplete. The BC defense holds. Forcing Texas to punt. And here comes Russell er Erglinthin back out on the field. Punter slash place kicker. Back deep is Calvin Martin. Boy, wouldn't we like him. Wouldn't we like him to get a uh, punt return for a touchdown? BC will set up the return. Here comes the punt. And it's a high punt. Perfectly placed. Martin hauls it in at the Boston College 4. He squeezes for a small opening, but he is buried by two defenders at the sideline. Only return to seven on the 48-yard punt by Erksleben. And BC is pinned back. First and 10 on their 11. They are in the shadows of their own goalposts. 141 to play here in the third quarter. Texas 34, BC 17. Play action fake. Flutie going for it all once again to Calvin Martin. He's going deep. Here comes the blitz. Martin running open. Martin's locked up by Ricky Upchurch. No chance to make the catch. Good coverage by Ricky Churchman. Excuse me, Ricky Churchman. And it brings up second and ten. Outside run by Tony Stratford. All-purpose defense for Texas. Stratford sweeps right. No gain. That play was smothered. It was stretched out by the Texas Longhorns. Brings up third and ten. Clock running. 56 seconds left in the third quarter. A crucial third and ten from the BC 11 for Doug Flutie and the Boston College Eagles. Single back of Tony Stratford. Two tight ends, Casparello and Gieselman. It's wide outs, Phelan and Martin. Going to go to Martin on the medium pass. Third and ten, standard zone by Texas. Extra defensive back. Flutie's in trouble. He shifts receivers. Flutie hurls a long ball to Phelan. Slightly overthrown, but Phelan turns up the speed, makes the catch! It's a gain of 33. Glenn Blackwood drags him down from behind. Doug Flutie once again with that Flutie magic. Phelan, seven receptions, 112 yards, and a TD. He goes over the century mark. What a play by Doug Flutie and Gerald, and Gerald Phelan. Flutie in trouble. Scrambles and finds Phelan for 33 yards, and only Glenn Blackwood's tackle saves a touchdown. So it's first and 10 on the BC 44. And again, he's going to look, actually, cancel that play action fake, and he's going to look deep for Calvin Martin. Standard set for the Longhorns. They're keying the run play action. Martin on the post, incomplete. Flutie led him a little too much there. Brings up second and 10. 27 seconds left in the third quarter. Inside run, Tony Stratford. Extra defensive back on the field. Deep zone. Here comes Stratford. Nobody in front of him. Gain of five. Brings up third and five. And that brings an end to the third quarter. It's 34 to 17. Texas. Let's go to the box score here. The scoring in the third quarter. Campbell, 38-yard run. And that made it 34-10. to The BC answered it with a 30-yard touchdown pass from Doug Flutie to Martin. And the extra point, 34-17. That's how we stand for the final 15 minutes of football here. Doug Flutie, 1984 Heisman Trophy winner, 17 of 37, 261 yards, two touchdowns, and a pick. He just made a great toss to Gerald Phelan to keep this drive alive. Earl Campbell, 21 carries, 188 yards, three touchdowns. 
back to the ball game. So it's third and five, Boston College on their 49 as they approach midfield. The two backs, two tight ends, inside run by Steve Strachan on the third and five. Man-to-man -man coverage. Taylor blitzing for the Longhorn. Strachan gets the ball, and he gets first seven down. yards and a first down. Again, Strachan doing his best Earl Campbell impersonation, dragging Texas Longhorns along with him for the ride. So it's first and ten on the Texas 44. Strachan comes out of the game. Stratford stays in. Phelan comes in. Two wideouts, two tight ends. Phelan, Martin, the wideouts. The tight ends, Gieselman, Casparello. Going for a bomb. Calvin Martin. Texas keying Stratford on the run. All-purpose defense. Cootie looks deep for Martin. The pass is knocked oh, down by Johnny Johnson. Flag on the play. Interference. Interference. Pass interference. Yes! Offense. Oh, my God. On the offense? How can it be? Oh, my God. So the joy of that flag went away pretty quick. As it was pass interference on the O. Draw to Tony Stratford. Second and ten from the Boston College. 46, two down territory. Phelan and Martin being double team. It's a draw. Picks up four yards on the play. Brings up second and 16. Draw again to Stratford. At midfield, extra defensive back for Texas. Fumble on the exchange. Who has it? Looks like Henry Williams for Texas recovers the fumble at midfield. Oh, wow. Flutie and Stratford fumble the ball. And that could be the final nail in this BC coffin here. As Texas takes over first and 10 at the 50, another crucial turnover by the Boston College Eagles. Split backfield of Earl Campbell and Ham Jones, the quarterback, Randy McCurchin. Wide receivers, Johnny Lamb Jones, Alfred Jackson, the tight end, Gil Harris. Run blitz. Linebacker shooting the run gaps. McMurchin on the option, heads out of bounds, gain of five. So McMurchin kept the ball, he faked the pitch, and it'll be second and five from the BC 45. 34 17, Texas. 13.37 left in this ball game. We need a big play here. We're going to key Earl Campbell. Run defense, keying Campbell. McGurchin gets the snap, fakes the handoff to Campbell. Play act. Uh, there's a flag. False, False start. start. Yes. Back him up. Back him up. Offense. Plays whistle dead. False start in the offense. Five-yard penalty from the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. So again, two wideouts, two running backs, split backfield. The backfield's Earl Campbell and Ham Jones. And this tight end is Gil Harris. The wideouts, Liam Jones and Alfred Jenkins. Jackson. Second and ten. We're going to play standard man. Shadow the quarterback. Standard man shadowing the quarterback. McMurchant gives the Campbell. Well executed gain of eight. And it'll bring a very short third and two. As Earl Campbell continues to add to his rush total. He's approaching the 200 yard mark. I believe he's got 190, 196 now. Yep, 22 carries, 196 yards. He's going for the double century mark. So third and a short two. And we're going to play run defense. Key Campbell. Need a big play here. 
Split backfield for you, uh, Texas. McMurchin keeps it, gets around the edge, gains six yards. And he was a big hit, getting up very slowly, McMurchin. He shrugs it off First down. and heads back to the huddle. So he kept it on the option. McGurchin, 13 carries and 61 yards and a touchdown. Texas is rushed for four touchdowns. So first and 10 on the BC 36. Again, BC needs a turnover here. Run blitz. Linebackers shooting the run gaps. It's an option. McMurchin's hit hard, but he bounces outside for seven yards. As the pursuit finally gets to him, it brings up second and three as McMurchin continues to add to his run total. 11.49 left in the game. Boston College trailing by 17. They need a big play on defense here. Run defense. King and Campbell. Second and three. Got to watch for the play action, though. Campbell on the run. Follows the purling left guard. Picks up first four down. yards and a first down. Excellent blocking by the offensive line of the Longhorns. Earl Campbell, 23 carries, 200 yards, and three touchdowns. That's why he won the Heisman Trophy in 77. So first and 10 on the BC 25. Run defense, keying the quarterback, Randy McCurchin. Come on, let's get a big pop on him. And a fumble. McMurchin fakes it. Hand off to Good. Medium long pass to Jackson. Complete at the six. Breaks the tackle. He's in the end zone for the touchdown. Play action. Fake 25 yard touchdown pass to Alfred Jackson. Here it comes the kick team. Six plays, 50 yards, 235, and a TD. Texas has a 23 point lead. Russell Erxelbin comes out for the extra point. It's up and good. 40 to 17. They're going to need a lot of Doug Flutie match to get back in this one. 11 10 to play in the game. Deep for the BC Eagles, Ken Bell and Carl Kreshman. Here's the kickoff. Bell has it at the three. A return of 31 yards as he finally is pushed out of bounds. So BC starts first and 10 on their 34. Two wideouts, two tight ends. The running back is Stratford. Medium pass to Stratford out of the backfield. All purpose defense for Texas. They're doubling Phelan. Flutie. Bill Aker comes charging through the line, but puts pressure on Flutie. Flutie scrambles. Flutie around the left side. Picks up six yards. And we're gonna go on the super. Oh, that's a slowdown. We want we want the hurry up, sorry. Going to the hurry up. So it's second and four. Medium pass to Calvin Martin. Standard man-to-man -man coverage. All out blitz. Here they're coming after Flutie. Under pressure. He looks away. Hangs the ball too long. Scrambles. Another gain of six. Person. As he hung on the ball too long, tucked it under, and ran. 10-21 to go in the game. Quickly up to the line of scrimmage come Doug Flutie and the BC Eagles. Medium long to Phelan. Longhorns watching Stratford for the run. Phelan running the corner route. Makes the reception, gets some extra yards, and gets out of bounds at the Texas 32. The clock stops. 22 yards. Live on the play. Oh, come on. No more flags. Come on. Personal foul. Defense. Oh, we'll take that. Attack on 15. Personal foul on the defense. Unsportsmanlike conduct on Texas. So Phelan runs a beautiful corner route. And a 15-yard penalty. We'll, we'll accept that. First down. So Boston College first and 10. On the Texas 17, they need to score quick. Play action. 
Medium long to Calvin Martin. Neutral defense for Texas. They're doubling failing. Play action fake. Downfield to Martin. Martin makes the catch. Or did he? No, they're saying it hit the turf flag on the play. Pass interference. Not on the offense, please. Defense. Yes! Another pass interference. It's going to be first and goal. So, an infraction occurred on the Texas four, so it'll be first and goal from the four, I believe. And it is. We're going to go with two backs. One wide out, Gerard failing two tight ends. Inside run, Stratford. Let's see if BC can pound this ball in. Hand to me in coverage by Texas. Here comes the blitz. Stratford, one yard gain, second and goal. Quickly up to the line of scrimmage again. We're going to give it to um, uh, Steve Strachan right up the gut, the fullback. Inside run, Texas keying Stratford. Ball goes. To Strachan, dodges Lance Taylor, and pushes ahead for the score! Three-yard run by Steve Strachan. BC's on the board once again. So Steve Strachan again doing his best Earl Campbell impersonation. Hello, ID Gesture. How are you, my friend? No, it's not going well for me. <laughs> BC's now down by 18. 41-23. Here comes the extra point by Kevin Snow. The snap to place the kick. It's up and good. 41-24. BC trails by 17. Doug Flutie is now 18 of 38. 283 yards. Two TDs and a touchdown. Uh, Stratch in seven carries. 25 yards. And a TD. Onside kick for Boston College. Mad scramble. Who has it? Texas recovers at the 45. Under that pile, it was a Texas Longhorn with the ball. So it'll be first and 10 on the Texas 45, 930 to play in the game run defense and we're going to key the quarterback as keying they got Johnny Johnson Paul Thompson so let's hopefully get a big pop on Randy McGurchin he coughs the ball up again playing the run gives the Johnny Johnson's a play action fake guns it downfield Tony Thurman what a play by Thurman Leaping and knocking the ball away from Johnny Liam Jones. That could have been another potential long touchdown pass for the Longhorns. Wow, what a play by Tony Thurman. Saves the day. Even though those nails, as the seconds go by, go into the BC Eagles coffin. So it's second and ten on the Texas 45. Backfield of Campbell and Wyatt. McMurchin under center. Wideouts Johnny Liam Jones and Alfred Jackson. Tight end Steve Hall. Run defense. And we're not going to key anybody. Run defense. Safety up the line of scrimmage. McGurchin keeps the ball in the option. Picks up five yards. Brings up a crucial third and five. Clock running. 8.37 to play in the game. BC must make the stop here. Run defense. Key Earl Campbell. Third and five midfield. Eight men up in the box. Liam Jones running the deep crossing pattern. Broken up by Neil Icon. What a play by the Boston College defensive back. And the BC defense holds. Earl Campbell's probably averaging about six yards per carry, and they don't give him the ball. Punt return is on. Erxelbin was. Hunt, aiming towards the sideline, gets a decent roll. It's a 50-yard punt, and it goes into the end zone. So here comes Doug Flutie in Boston College, trailing by 17 with 8:19 to play in the game.
Stratford the lone back, Martin and Phelan the wideouts, Gieselman and Cascarello the tight ends. Brad62 in the chat says, This game is a masterpiece. Well done by a guy from the UK. Yes, excellent game. Great value. $50. You get all the pro seasons. I wish they had some more. I wish the animation, like these, would move. I'm a big animation guy. I still love Action PC. I highly recommend Action PC. This is a great second game. And if you don't want to... if you, Again, you want to be... Here are the games I suggest if you want to be economical. Economical. That's the right way of saying it. Save your money. More bang for your buck. I would suggest this game as long as you don't care about the animation. The graphics are beautiful. I mean, the, the, the chalkboard doesn't move. You know, it doesn't move with the play. Uh, I suggest this game. It's just under $50. You get all the pro seasons plus some college seasons. For baseball, for $40, you get everything out of the ballpark. Okay? Then if you want a dice rolling game... Digital Diamond Baseball for $20. Those are my recommendations. For, so in total, you'd spend $159, $110 about, and you'd pretty much get everything. So that's just my recommendations. As Brad62 says, yeah, chalkboard would top it off. Oh, it'd be marvelous. Again, the game plays very well. I have to get used to it still. I, I, I have a bad habit. With Action PC Football, I know where to look. I mean, it tells you right here. If the guy's getting tired, I just don't pay attention because I'm not used to it over here. And it's, you know, you see the guy start to go yellow, you got to take him out of the game. If he goes red, you must take him out because his production will be awful. So, very fun game. Very enjoyable. And here's the thing with this game, I highly recommend if you're thinking about buying it. You can download the demo, and as soon as you start playing it, you have three days to play the game. The full game you can play to see if you like it. Brad62, choose an era, college or pro, and have at it. Yes. You get all the pro seasons, Brad. College, I'll show you after what the seasons you have. For the college seasons, you have to buy them $10 a pop. But I mean, you get all the pro seasons. I already have last year's season with this game. All right. BC in the hurry up. First and 10 on their 20. Play action. Going deep to Calvin Martin. They got to put points on the board and quickly. Texas all-purpose defense. King Stratford on the run. Play action fake. Flutie looking for Martin deep. And it's just out of Martin's reach. Oh, boy, that would have been an 80-yard touchdown pass. Flutie let him a little too much. As Doug slaps his hands together, he knew he missed it. As Clark says, Clark, correct, in this game, Clark says, plus 2017 is already out for this, so I can replay my Eagles right away. Yes, you can, Clark. Yes, you can. Brad says, I got the 6,500 college teams. Yes. On this game, they have a set like that? Explain that, Brad, if you could, please. And once again, thank you to Brad62, uh, Clock Rots, or Clark, and ID Gesture for joining me in the chat. Remember to check out ID Gesture's channel. Wonderful, wonderful channel coming up on his millionth view. Baseball, role playing games, all strategy games. ID is absolutely wonderful. He hates the Red Sox. He hates everything Boston, New England, but we still love him. It's funny because all your biggest fans are Boston fans. That's how much we love you, I.D. What's not to love about I.D. Jester? What's not to love about Brad 62 or Clark? All right, second and ten. Outside run to Stratford. See if we catch the Texas defense napping. All-purpose double coverage on Phelan. Stratford looking to go to the outside. And he's pushed out of bounds at the line of scrimmage by Glenn Blackwood coming up from his safety position to quickly snuff that out. Brings up third and ten. Clock stops with eight minutes to play. Jeez. 
medium to Phelan. Extra defensive back, zone deep zone defense for Texas. Medium pass to Phelan, complete to Phelan. Eight yard gain, ugh. As he's forced out of bounds by Mark, Mike Hartnick. Hartinger, excuse me. And it brings up a fourth and two. BC will go for it with 7.51 to play on their own 28. Fourth and two. Got to put the ball in Doug Flutie's hands here. Medium short to Phelan. Extra defensive back. Bump and run coverage. Akeem Stratford on the pass. Phelan makes the catch for seven yards on first down at the 32. Quickly hurrying up to the line of scrimmage. Doug Flutie and the BC Eagles. He's going for broke. Actually medium long to Calvin Martin. Standard man-to-man -man coverage. Extra defensive back. Blitzing. Flutie's in trouble. Throws to Gieselman. Broken up by Ricky Churchman. Flutie couldn't go. To Martin, a lot of pressure on him. He scrambled away from it, tried to go to his tight end, Kieselman. Clark makes an excellent point in the chat. He says, this game is pretty good for accuracy, too. Higher Ground Gaming did a 2070, 2017 playoff. Actually, it wasn't a replay. It was a pre-play. How dead on was that? those games were scary. Uh, and he says, it was scary how close the games came to real life. Yes, it was a pre-play, not a replay, a pre-play. So, check those out if you want on Higher Ground Games channel with Eric, another wonderful channel. Great point, Clark. As ID Justice is just listening, how sweet Al, love all my Boston fans. And he says, puke. Oh, he's in wrestling mode, ID is. Here comes Doug Flutie, second and ten on the BC 35. Boston College trails by 17. Medium long to Phelan. All-purpose defense for Texas. Single coverage. Phelan's double covered. Flutie looks for a secondary receiver. Dumps it to Stratford. And he only picks up three and gets out of bounds. Clock stops. Third and seven. Doug Flutie now 43, 21 of 43 for 301 yards and two touchdowns. 84 Heisman Trophy winner. Medium short to Phelan. Again, Texas all-purpose. Looking for Stratford. Flutie is going to pass. Circles outside to Phelan. Incomplete fourth and seven. 7.16 to play. Crucial fourth down here. What little hopes the BC Eagles have lay in the hands of Doug Flutie now. They trail by 17, Texas 41, Boston College 24. And they're going to go... Medium short to Kelvin Martin. Deep zone, Longhorns extra defensive back. Flutie looking under pressure. Looking for a secondary, throws to Stratford. Pass a little high, Stratford can't, can't come down with it. And it falls incomplete. Turnover on downs. Oh, Flutie had Stratford, but under the pressure, he floated the ball too high. Stratford leaped, but could not make the catch. Texas will take over first and 10 on the BC 38. Run defense. For BC. Play action fake to Jones. McGurchin avoids the sack, looks for another receiver to Gill. Passes high. Incomplete. What why they're throwing the ball with a 17-point lead is beyond me. 659 to play. I'd like to get a pick six here. Three wide outs. Ham Jones in the backfield. One tight end. Gotta go at the Standard man, extra defensive back, shadow the quarterback. Ball snap. Cam Jones with the carry, four yards on the plate. Third and six. Six seventeen. Left in the game. Cam Jones, a single back behind McGurchin. 
The wideouts, Johnny Liam Jones, Alfred Jackson, and Ronnie Meach. Tight end, Gil Harris. Standard man-to-man, -man. extra defensive back, shadow the quarterback. Back into the pocket, draw play to Ham Jones. Burst through a hole, tripped up by Romanowski, but he picks up 12 first yards down. and the first down. First and 10, 5.48 to play in the game. It's academic now, folks. It's academic for a long time, but turn out the lights, the party's over, as the late great Don Meredith used to say on Monday Night Football with Frank Gifford and Howard Cosell. Run blitz. Here come the linebackers shooting the run gaps. Hand off to Earl Campbell. No, it's a play action. Medium pass to Mike Lockett. Broken up by Todd Russell. Again, why are you throwing the ball? It's 541 left in the game. Run blitz once again by the BC Eagles. Second and 10 from the Boston College 22. McGurchin goes wide for four yards. And Pereira gets to him at the 18th. Third down and six. Five minutes left in the ball game. The backs are Earl Campbell and Ham Jones. McGurchin under center. The wideouts are Johnny Lamb Jones and Mike Lockett. The tight end, Gil Harris. Run defense. Okay. Third and six. McGurchin's going to pass. Throws to Lockett. He has it at the nine. Eleven yards. Picks up a couple extra ones. First and goal. 434 to play. Run defense. Keying McGurchin, the quarterback. Eight men up in the box for BC. They give to Kermit Goad. No, it's a play action. Touchdown to Lockett. As Texas continues to run up the score on the BC Eagles. What a game Randy McGurchin's had. 47-24. We await the extra point. Here comes Russell Exerblin. It's up and good. good. Ouch. Forty-eight Here comes the kickoff. Williams and Crespain deep. Crespain has the ball in the 16, has some speed. He's brought down at the 33. So first and 10 in the BC 33. Three wide outs, a tight end. And the running back is Stratford. Going deep for Calvin Martin. Hoping for a pass interference. Nickel defense. Here comes the blitz. Flutie looking for Martin. Martin's well covered. Flutie wisely throws that one away. Flutie's going to run the ball. Quarterback keeper. And he is blitzed at the line. Second effort yields nothing. Big hit. Flutie gets back on his feet, though. 409 left in the game. As Flutie's out. No quarterback click. Wow, so he has to come out of the game. He did can't stay in. And here comes Sean Hollerin. Oh my god, it doesn't matter. Let's just, third and ten, let's run a draw with Stratford. Let's run this clock out. Deep zone, draw. Only a gain of two. Fourth and eight. We're not calling timeout. All right, Hollerin. Go screen to Stratford. Fourth and eight from the 35. Extra defensive back, double covering, failing. Screen to Stratford. Incomplete. 
BC turns it over on downs. Doug Flutie looks like he'll not come back in. And what for? Texas of 19, the 1977 Texas Longhorns 48, the 84 Boston College Eagles 24. We're going to play run defense. First and 10 to the BC 35. Play fake. McGurchin's going to throw to Jones once again. Jones is open. Caught in the end zone for another touchdown. Wow, Texas is really sticking it to the Eagles. They don't want to run the clock out. And this is if I was the coach, I'd have someone break one of their players' legs. I really would. 30-point lead. Here comes the extra point. As Jack Bicknell's just staring across the sideline at his counterpart. Says, your day will come. Might not be today, but it will come. 55-24. Ouch. They don't want to play nice. Here's the kickoff. Kenny Bell at the 7. Gain of 35. Boston College will start first to 10 on their 42. Sean Holleran in the game at quarterback. Going to go deep to Calvin Martin. Here comes the blitz. Holleran looks away. He's going for an all for Martin. Ball thrown into a crowd. Off the hands of Martin deflected near Johnny Johnson who tips it again before it falls incomplete. A little volleyball going on there with the pigskin. And now it's time to bring in a couple of players who never played. And uh, let's give the ball inside run to Jim Brown. Texas in tight coverage, linebackers blitz. Duffed in the backfield, three yard loss. We're not calling timeout. Doug Flutie's ready to return, but he'll stay on the sideline. And third and 13, let's outside run Tyrone Taylor. Try to run this clock out. Here comes a blitz, Glenn Blackwood. Give to Taylor. The ball comes loose. Fumble out of bounds. Taylor with a two yard gain is credited. And the ball goes out of bounds just to torture me. And I'm going to throw a bomb to Sean Dombrowski. Extra defensive back. Holleran under duress. Sidesteps the defender, picks out a new target. And that's it. Failed fourth down attempt. McMichael with the sack. 2.23 to play. We're going to play all purpose. You know what? We're going to play man standard. Aggressive. Hopefully, we break one of their players' legs. Campbell with the ball. Heads outside. Eight yard gain. Second and two. We're not calling timeout. 1.45 left in the game. Standard man-to-man -man aggressive shadow quarterback. Hansley rolls right, going to run. Breaks the tackle. The ball comes loose. Romanowski comes up with a fumble. And BC will take over on the turnover. Let's just run this clock out here. Inside run, Jim Brown. All out blitz by Texas. Throwing on the run. Loss of a couple. Second and 12. No timeout. Oh, let's give Steve Williams a carry. Full house backfield. Let's give it to Williams. What the heck, right? Inside run, Williams. Full house backfield. Wow, picked up three yards. Nope, we're not calling timeout. 
43 seconds left. Let's bring Kenny Bell back in in the full house. Let's give the ball to Kenny Bell inside. Third and nine. No gain. Fourth and nine. Six seconds left. No timeout. And let's go with... Let's go and end around here. Oh, we can't do that. Now let's give it to... Kenny Bell failing out. Bro. Let's give it to Kenny Bell on the inside. <laughs> Bell caught in the backfield, one yard loss. Please let the ball game be over. And the ball game is over. And it was Custard's last stand here in Texas for the BC Eagles. So player of the game. Wow, they give it to Randy McGurchin. 184 yards passing, three touchdowns, 156 rating, plus he rushed for another 77 yards and a TD. I would have given it to Earl Campbell. But they give it to... Uh, so Earl Campbell had a 208 yards and I believe three touchdowns. Gerard Phelan had 10 catches. Doug Flutie 21 of 46 for 301. Oh, crushing defeat for the 84 BC Eagles. So in the battle of Heisman Trophy winners, the 77 Longhorns and Earl Campbell defeat the 84 Boston College Eagles and Doug Flutie 55 to 24. Let's close that out. Let's go to the box score quick, and then we shall call it a stream. Doug Flutie, 21-46, 301, two touchdowns and a pick. And McGurchin, 9 for 22, 184, three TDs. Earl Campbell, 24 for 208, three touchdowns. McGurchin, 16 for 77 and a touchdown. So, wow. Leading rusher for the BC Eagles. Stratford, 13 for 33. Touchdown reception, uh, Gerald, uh, Gerald Phelan, 10 receptions, 149 yards, one touchdown. And then Martin was 2 for 45 with a touchdown. Stratford had five catches out of the backfield for 36 yards. Gieselman, 2 for 51 yards. Darren Flutie, 1 for 11. And Dombrowski, 1 for 9. For Texas, Johnny Lamb Jones, 3 for 114 yards. On the touchdown, Thompson, 2 for 19 out of the backfield. Lockett, 2 for 18 in a TD. Jackson, 1 for 25 with a touchdown. Earl Campbell, 1 for 8. Rushing after Campbell and McGurchin. Ham Jones, 7 for 16. Wyatt, 3 for 14. Good, 1 for 6. Ansley, 1 for 6. And then Johnny Lamb Jones, 1 for negative 2. Johnny Johnson, 1 for negative 4. Harris on the fumble. He picked up a fumble and ran for 19 yards. That was another huge play when we had them stopped. Uh, for BC, Doug Flutie, 8 for 16. Stratchin, 7 for 25 with a touchdown. He ran hard up the middle. Bell, 7 for 5. Brown, 2 for negative 1. Williams, 1 for 3. Taylor, 1 for 2. And Holleran, 1 for negative 7. I would go through the scoring, but it would just make me cry. <laughs> so, as the Al Red Sox fans say, thank you very much for watching. Uh, let me go to the chat real quick. Say thank you to Brad62. As uh, Brad says, Stratford went on to play for the Dolphins, I believe. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And thank you to Clark. Uh, Clark says, if this was a hockey game, I'd put the fourth line out. Uh, Brad62, I played game... Uh, 66 Packers at the 64 Cleveland Browns. NFL champ with Jim Brown took the Packers uh, and lost 23-7. to Held Brown to 99 yards, but not good enough. I bet you their wide receiver killed you. I can't think of his name. I can see him. 
Uh, Collins. I think his name was Collins. I bet you he killed you. As Clark says goodnight, I want to say thank you once again to Brad62. Thank you to Clark. Thank you to ID Jester. Check out ID Jester's channel. Great channel. All kinds of good stuff. And uh, I will wish you gentlemen a f adieu, and I might be back a little later. And again, this is second and ten football. Um, I recommend it. It's under $50. Hello, Michael Butler. How are you, my friend? He says, good game, Al. I tried my best. I, You know, I have bad luck with penalties. Not that I was going to win, but I get the worst costly penalties at the worst times. Part of the game. Very fun game, under $50. You can download it, play for free for three days to see if you like it. Um, you know I like action PC football. Still do, still love it. But this is a nice ying to the yang. I do enjoy it. So Again, my recommendations if you want to be economic, economical. Warren, you didn't miss much. I got my the butt. I got whammy, Warren. How are you, my friend, from over the in over the pond? Um. So value. This game is under fifty dollars, just under fifty dollars. You get all the pro seasons, okay, and some college seasons. Out of the ballpark baseball, if you buy it brand new, is just under forty dollars. Or actually is $40. You get all the baseball seasons. Okay. Now if you're looking for a dice rolling game. Alright. You can go to Digital Diamond Baseball for $20. And you get a ton of seasons. And fans are always creating leagues. That's if two That's two good baseball games. A very good football. Uh, excellent baseball game out of the ballpark. A very good dice roller in Digital Diamond. And... A really fun, good football game in second and ten. I'm okay, Warren. I hope you're doing well. Warren says, hee hee, I just listened to George Foreman Al cast was great. Thank you. I'm going to be doing another boxing match, I think, over the weekend. I don't know yet. I might go with my English fights, which would be um, Joe Lewis, Joe Bugner. Frank Bruno, um, um, I went, I went blank. Jones, I can't. Uh, the middleweight who beat um, John Ruiz, Roy Jones, Roy Jones Jr., and uh, the other one, Lennox Lewis and Francesco Damiani. Wembley Stadium, how cool is that? Yeah, so those are good values there for these games and just my opinion so once again i'll be back probably in a little bit playing something else i might i might check out i might be buying this world war one uh strategy game it's on sale for 10 bucks so warren chandler will get the last word he says look forward to it love the boxing ones bruno roy jones should be a good one i like that i was going to go with joe lewis and joe bugner but i keep i'm leaning more towards the roy jones and frank bruno to be the first fight over the weekend. We would love to do two if I'm able to. So. I'm glad you enjoy the boxing. I really do too. Alrighty. So. Health and happiness everyone. I'll probably be back in a little bit. Enjoy your Friday and your weekend. Stay safe. May God bless you and your loved ones. Peace.